Oh guys, just when you think, surely we can't have another stunning RS2000 arrive here. Lo and behold, it does. So uh, we had a yellow one, which achieved 50,000 just over. Then we had a superb green one, ZTEC powered, that achieved 40,000 or thereabouts, just a bit more, I think. And now we've got another red one, which I'm just gonna give you a little tour around. I've just taken loads of photographs of all the usual bits and pieces for you. I've just pulled it out of the building. She is still cold, bless her, but there she is. Lovely engine bay, absolute corker. Where are we on the old throw? Hang on. Can't do it from here properly, hang on. There we are. So, I've taken your inner wings there. You've got your stamp on your top, strut top, plate one, plate two. Real nice and blue down there. On it is basically perfect. Certainly every as good as you're gonna get, that's for sure. There's a few coming in with those covers now. Which are nice, that finishes off the bubble there, doesn't it? But yeah, all your uh, all your struts off. Slam panel. Inner wings, bulkhead. Oh absolutely lovely. Nice as that. Right, I'll shut that down. We'll leave her just to warm up a minute, she won't hurt. Uh, we'll have a quick look around inside. So no speakers in the door cars, which is nice. Good finish on the shuts. Good door, good, 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 good door gaps as well. High speed, so it'll have a Type 9 in. We just checked with the girls in the office, because like I say, we've had a few just lately, and I've spoken to quite a lot of people with different cars. Unfortunately, we've had to turn away quite a number of substandard cars. People that feel that their average RS2000 will achieve top shelf money. They don't, guys. Top shelf cars are top achieve top shelf money. Not average cars. Spare wheel, well there. Incidentally, I'm looking at the screen on this. Um, this, or well, all these cameras, do tend to show the pink, uh, or the red as pink, shall I say, sorry. Uh, take that out, it is all red. Now I've taken the spare wheel out so we can see the floor as well. Look at this floor. The floor's perfect in there. Lovely tank boot lid as well about as good as you're going to get guys I think and then round the near side again no damage on the door cars which is nice good door skin lines good on the shuts just wants a little bit of just a little bit of finishing off, just a few little bits and pieces. The plastics, if you can find them around the mechanism there, right size bolts, just a couple of little daft things, just literally little things you can do as you go along. Little bits of improvement, a grommet in the dash there. Once a grommet in there, doesn't it, where the choke would go. Once a blank in there, where one of the switches would go. Once a self tapper in there, which is there, waiting for it. Seats are good, bolsters are good, fishnets are good. Again, want some of them plastic bungs on your back past yourself there. We've done a little bit of a head-to-head -head with this car in the green car a couple of weeks ago uh, when they were both on site. And I was just explaining to the guys just the difference between, between the two and uh, just how little things, just, just little silly little things, just help them along. Underneath, in the wheel arches there, you can never see, can you? Look, we're still all bright red, still all lovely and clean. There, look at that. That's 
cracking, isn't it? That. Yeah, yeah. Lovely set of wheels and really good all round on the body and the paint. Real nice. Stand back here, you can get a better look at it. Still got your uh, spot weld marks on the wheel arches there. I photographed them for you. Again, it's all red in the arches. On the same on this side. There you are. Still got all your spot welds there. Around the window rubbers. And the doors. The vents on the side. Everywhere. Real nice. Real leather car. Level car. And as I was saying, I'm pretty sure we've... we've um, Sorry, I'll get you ahead of myself. I get a little bit excited. I apologise, but uh, I'm sure this is the car that's come from long-term ownership. Uh, just check with the girls. I think 15, 16, 17 years, if not perhaps a bit more, which is nice, isn't it? We all like that longevity, don't we? When it comes to ownership. So there you have it. Yet another lovely RS2000. We all know what they're worth at the moment. There's no signs of them slowing down. They maybe are leveling out a little bit, but I think you're always going to have to give strong money for a proper car. You always have to give give good money for any proper car, no matter whether it's got an RS badge on it or not. There's always a queue for people waiting to buy proper cars. So I see no reason why they shouldn't go up there with the last two. So with the greatest respect. Don't put bids in of 15, 16, 18, 20,000 quid because you're never going to do it, are you? Never in a million years. You know, it's not 1992, guys. It's 2022. So, uh, anyway, there we go. I'm going to put it in the shed of the minute and we've got three weeks to the next auction. That last week before the auction is the main viewing week when we've got everything on site and hopefully stationary when we're not moving cars around. That's the best week to come down and have a look and see what you think.